Are you lost, buddy? What are you doing? It's out for a nice walk? All right. You have a nice day. Uh, well, getting my day started. I got a bunch of errands that I got to do before work, so uh, it's about 7.30, so I'm going to get those taken care of. I got to get some new tires on the car before, uh, on the van, before I do get working today because uh, the front driver's side is a little wore down, and time for a new tire so let's go do this so I took a drive about an hour away uh, there's a there's a place that does used tires I've known uh, I've known the owner since I was a kid I used to work for one of his close friends uh, so I like to keep stuff local uh, also, getting uh, used tires helps me save a little bit of money. I've spent a lot of money right now on the build, so uh, that's part of the reason. But they're brand new hand cooks, and uh, it's going to be all great. I think I waited too long on getting these new tires. I kicked that weight a while back, so one of the problems was I was getting uneven wear on that tire, which forced me to have to do that. I probably should have just gone and had these things rotated, balanced. Sometimes I'm a dumbass. It's one of them beautiful spring Vermont days where, of course, overcast, about 70 degrees and a nice breeze. That's the best part of it, being able to enjoy a beautiful day, but have a nice breeze to keep it uh, respectable. So, getting ready to load up on the ferry. I'm gonna head over and uh, deliver this hat <laughs> that I'm delivering over across the pond and then I'm gonna go see Gregor. I believe he's still there working at the beach bar. And I believe that's gonna be opening up this week. So it's a little windy today, which brings this. Oh, needless to say, it's a little throwy uppy today. I don't get as motion sick as I used to, thank the Lord, because there's nothing worse. You can't escape it. The first time I got seasick, I was on a day cruise. 16, 17 years old, left St. Pete, Florida, somewhere, somewhere down near the Tampa area, and there was a tropical storm out to sea, and oh my god, I think at one point I was ready to beg the staff to throw me over the edge, it was the worst, uh, but yeah.
I stopped by uh, the lake today over on the Plattsburgh side. I had a delivery, so I figured I'd stop by and see Greg. It's crazy, crazy windy out here today. You know, he's, uh, he's here getting ready. Getting ready with the beach bar. Open up, uh, I believe it's this weekend. A lot to do, especially considering last year uh, for the COVID, he was closed. So, wow, it's super windy out here. Usually there's a lot more wind surfers when it's like this. Well, I got a chance to stop in and see Greg today. We're at the Cabana Beach Bar in Plattsburgh, New York at the Plattsburgh City Beach. Gregor! Uh, what, have you, what have you been doing today so well, far, or this week that is? Well, restocking, cleaning, a lot of cleaning. How much, you said, you said up against the doors there's usually sand and everything? Yep, lots of them. Yeah, today, today you painted the floor out there, that's why we can't go out and see that. Yep. But, looks good though. Do you do that every season? No, it's been about four years. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good to do here already, just or to the, just to there. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Oh, I can take a sneak peek outside the window. So, what are you gonna just do that on the floor? Yeah. Let's see. Still gonna mask them out a little bit. But. And I, uh, I would love to say that I remember. Where have they been on the floor every year like that? Uh, I recognize them just from on, that, on the ice cream side. You had what? Crab one. <laughs> you had crabs. I had crabs. <laughs> Just getting up here to camp for uh, for the Memorial Day weekend. You know, a bunch of people are starting to get here. Uh, time for me to get organized for the night. Well, for the back, next couple days. It's a disaster in here. It's a disaster. All right, but you know, a little bit of cleanup. Everything should be good, baby. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing a lot more than just sleeping in it, right? So, one of the things I do when I'm in a group where, you know, they're, they're all friends, so I still get kind of triggery when it comes to drinking, um, which is fine. It is what it is. When I'm around it, I, I, I get cravings, sweets and all that, so, oh. One of the things that I've done is picked up a bunch of garbage. But, what a find. I don't know if you've had these things before, 
These type of uh, marshmallows. Oh my god. The s'mores were amazing. Holy crap. And if you're going to do s'mores, you might as well try it out a little bit. You know, got the normal, but I like to put the old Reese's. Woo. It's nice to have your own bathroom on the road. I just haven't figured out yet how to, uh, how to get that thing to follow me around. Wonder if I could put wheels on the bottom. That would help with the emergency bathroom problem, right? Woo! This is absolutely my favorite time of the day. This is called the blue hour, and the reason I like it is because it makes it makes all of the colors pop. Everything looks amazing. Especially my baby girl. Oh my goodness, I love you so much! Oh, having a great time camping with everybody. This is my buddy Orion. He loves me so very much. Hi, buddy. But uh, I wish you were here. I'm just kidding. Then you'd know where it was. I don't wish you were here. But we're having a great time. Do I, do I have s'more caught in my mustache? <laughs> yeah, had the first s'more of the day, so. <laughs> Probably be going into that later on, you know what I'm saying? My toy did, <laughs> baby. Another beautiful Vermont night. <laughs> it was chilly. June 29th, it got down into the 30s. So that's exciting. Yay! That's normal though. Cold weather is a normal thing. And it'll start warming up fully in a couple of weeks. It would be a normal, but, you know, it wasn't so cold that it wasn't, that it was hard to sleep. It was fine. I didn't have to turn on my heater or anything, but I'm going to get up and make some coffee. Maybe. I'm so comfy. All right. Let's get up, guys. Let's make some coffee. Oh. oh, right. Well, I've been up for a little while. Sitting here trying to get ready, you know, you get comfortable and it's a little chilly outside. You don't want to get out of bed, but I got everybody moving around, so I guess it's time to make some coffee. Ugh. 